December 30th, 1980, the Blazers in Philadelphia, one second to play, and the Blazers trail by one. Kermit on the inbound play, inbound, Bates at the heart, he scores! They score, and they win it! The Blazers win the ball game! They are all over Billy Ray Bates! Oh my! March 1970, the Trailblazer office. The original Trailblazer, Portland's first ever draft choice. I'm delighted and elated to tell you that the Blazers have signed their first pick in the 1970 collegiate draft and the first player to be signed by our new team in the National Basketball Association. So I think, you know what, I can really be a big part of the program here. June 5th, 1977, the World Championship on the line. Portland leads Philadelphia by two. Maurice Lucas, I don't know where he's playing right now. I think take the ball in bounds. George McGinnis is wide open. I don't know what he's doing. Here's McGinnis. Lucas comes out. McGinnis for the tie. It's off. Oh, January 3rd, 1978, the Blazers and Chicago. Van Leer, the inbound play, Holland, Stolarek, and Lionel Holland, he scores! Van Leer, inbound, May, Stolarek, Gross, Korthik, Korthik, Holland, he scores! December 30th, 1980, the Blazers in Philadelphia, 17 seconds remaining. Clock winding down, it's down to 15, 14, Ramsey taking plenty of time, cheeks on him, around to Thompson, pick right side, bumped by Caldwell Jones, no inside to Michael Thompson, there it is, he scored with six seconds to go! December 1980, defense pays off with the Blazers against New Jersey. Walker with the ball again, practically at midcourt. Gets by Brewer, penetrates, in he goes, throws it underneath, intended for Lucas, picked off by Bates. Bates is going to drive, dishes off to Brewer, turns around, put it up, and in, good, round Brewer. April 1977, the Blazers take their opening step toward the NBA championship. Eight seconds left to play. Scott May. Two seconds, that's it. Portland has won the first playoff series of its young life. Blazers in Philadelphia, 1979, Larry Steele with an incredible shot. Here it is again. Look at Steele and the chase the pass. No, he lets it fly with a second on the clock. The Portland Trailblazers are about to become a reality. I certainly think so. I understand the NBA next year will go to four conferences in two divisions, very similar to what the National Football League is doing now. And uh, they feel that they already have four teams on the coast in Seattle, San Francisco, San Diego, and Los Angeles. I think we fit the picture. I'd say we're in the finals, Don. Former Oregon star Jim Barnett becomes one of the first trailblazers. It's a difficult uh, task to uh, come out there and, and win a lot of ball games your first year or two in the league. However, we're going to be a very competitive ball club. We have pretty good personnel. I think we've got the best uh, nucleus of all the expansion clubs. And uh, I think we're going to surprise a lot, of, a lot of people here in Portland.
October 1970. It's opening night for the Portland Trailblazers. President Herman Sarkowski to the microphone that opening night. Ticket manager George Rickles next to him. On the bench, Dale Sluter tells everybody how it should be done. Then the opening tip. October the 16th, 1970, then the Blazers get the tip. Adaman around the top of the circle. Dishes off. There are some fans. Hey, look at the stands. You could get tickets in those days. Ten years later, members of the original Blazer team are reunited. Ten years ago, what a difference a decade makes. May 1977, the Blazers defeat the Lakers for the Western Conference title. Again, they go down to two. Hollins. The Blazers are on the run in October of 1977 here with the victory over Buffalo. Billy Knight goes in. Little fancy hook shot doesn't drop. Johnny Davis, smallest man on the floor in traffic, has the rebound. Shuffles the ball out to Owen. Back to Johnny Davis. There goes Johnny. Bounce pass for Dick Lucas. The Blazers show Buffalo what Jack Ramsey basketball is all about. Now to Chucky Williams, drives his shot, blocked by Walton, picked up by Shoemate, he put it up, no good. Wally Walker, the rebound, hugs it for a moment. Gus Gerard was right there with him, he's in for the first time for Buffalo. With Johnny Davis, the who did his thing. The Neal, Neal, Walker, Neal goes to the hoop, shoots. Uh -huh. April 1981, Portland and Kansas City. It's playoff time. Michael Thompson with the three-point play as he completes it from the line, picks up points number 21. Portland up by four, 58 to 54. Great block by Clement Washington inside. The Blazers and Philadelphia for the NBA title. And the Blazers are hot. Joe Bryant sitting back down. He's the head cheerleader, and he brought some enthusiasm into game five when it all seemed lost. Tied at eight now with 9 12 left in the first. Davis cuts, takes a beautiful pass. Give him go. Davis broke free from Doug Collins that time. Seventy-seven, the NBA title on the line, the Blazers and 76ers. In a snapping out of that slump, Lucas looks in and goes Neal. Hawkins there, and it cuts off pretty. There's that great execution again. This time with Roy Neal playing the role of Bill Walton, but they still execute the same play. The NBA title game, the Blazers, turned defense into an easy basket. Rose eyes the doctor, Walton also watching him. And it was Collins with a defensive move, he read the pass, he comes back on Mix. And Lucas follows and passes it down. The NBA title game, Portland and Philadelphia. Here's Blazer basketball at its best. This crowd can get awfully emotional here. Gene Shu and the 76ers realize this is critical moment number one. McGinnis with Lucas. McGinnis on the drive. Walton there on the double team. Free ball up from the Blazers. A chance for 10 straight. Hollins muscling in.
Blazers in Philadelphia title game 1977. Teamwork pays off. Walton just Jones up, turns around. Gross regains it, and here's Walton. They bring it in through the center on that motion. Looks cutter, it's Lucas in behind McGann. In 1977, the Blazers in Philadelphia, Bobby Gross with a big play at both ends. Neal there with McGinnis. Gross had it thrown right to him. That's just a bad pass right oh, there. Oh, right to Bobby Gross. The doctor wasn't there. Neal to the basket. Gross got a hand on it. Bobby Gross reached out, got a hand on the ball, and tapped it back in. Nineteen seventy seven world title in hand. It's time to celebrate for the Portland Trailblazers. All right. Okay, first of all, we have a trophy here that we're going to present. It's the World Championship Trophy, and it goes to the world champion, Portland Trailblazers. Nineteen seventy seven Blazer Mania takes over the entire Northwest. Hey, it's it's like heaven to me. Uh, just being a part of the team, making a contribution, it's it's great. We're on top of the world right now. Many sides of Blazer guard Jimmy Paxson. Penetrate and he goes, bounce pass to Paxson. There's the jumper. It stays. A smaller, quicker Jimmy Paxson. Paxson meet him inside in the hoop area. Missed his shot, stayed in there to follow it up. Thompson takes a look now to Paxson. Curls, stops, shoots. Two more. Stolen away by Kermit Washington to Paxson. Break away and he goes. Two. Open the gates because here comes Billy Ray Bates. Right front court goes baseline all the way, hands back to Autry off his hands to Bates. Here comes Stuff Shot. Black. October 1977, Bill Walton to the L train, Lionel Hollins. 63 to 62, it certainly does not take long. San Antonio is four for four early in the third quarter. Forging, down to Gross, back out on top. Lucas takes a look, Gross cuts through, over to Walton, left side, Paul's on him, underneath, Hollins, turns around, shoots, off oh. the glass and in. The Blazers in San Antonio, 1977. Bill Walton finds Dave Twardzik. He turns around, shoots from five. This one doesn't drop. Walton is 12th rebound ahead of Twardzik. Twardzik drives with Dampier. Two! Right back out to Dampier to Keenan. Now to Paul's free throw line area. They double team him. He waits a pass to Oberdin. Tipped away by Lucas. Picked up by Twardzik behind the back pass. He drives, makes a, shot, a pass. Oh. Scores foul. Nineteen seventy-seven, Blazer Lloyd Neal takes it to the basket. Minute twenty-six to go. Steele in the right front court. He waits. Neal finds room. Drives. Oh, 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 he's oh, oh, it is. He's I tell you, Lloyd's moving to that hoop with authority, Bill. It's encouraging to see a guy come off a knee injury like that and go to the hoop as strong. He got his shoulder down and just went right by everybody and carried the ball strong to the basket. 
1980, the Blazers in Golden State, Calvin Nat scores on an alley-oop. Bound to Brewer from Trudgy to Calvin Nat on exchange to Brewer. Left side, alley-oop for Calvin. Going up and in. Good! He's fouled. Oh, he leaped out of the building. He came out of nowhere. Portland and the Warriors, 1980, the Blazer running game at its best. Luke finds room, going to drive, dishes off the Packer, and he goes, it's blocked by Toronto, picked up by Portland, Blazers are running, three on two to that, two! The Blazers in Golden State, Dave Torzik finds Abdul Jelani. On the dribble drive on the right side, backs out Calvin Nett guarding him on the switch. Alley oop to Phil Smith, doesn't go. Good play. Jelani the rebound, ahead to Torzik, over to Jelani. He stopped at the other end. Torzik looked to his big man on the right and handed it to Jelani, and Jelani stopped that baby. He's got nine. Nineteen seventy-eight, the Blazers and Atlanta. They turn defense into an easy basket. Eddie Johnson drives on the right front court. Bounce pass to McMillan. Intercepted by Lloyd Neal. Stepped in front of Tommy. Tommy didn't see it. Blazers get it back. Let's see if they can score. Bordick goes left. Neal from outside. Oh my! Twenty-three. He's got it. Nineteen seventy-eight, the Blazers give Atlanta a clinic in passing. Johnny Davis on the dribble drive, moving left to right, finds room. There goes Johnny, dishes off the Calhoun from the corner. Looks good, is good. <laughs> Davis, Walton, beat him low post, rolls around Rollins in and stuffs it himself. Goal says back at you. One of Portland's most popular players of all time, his number 13 proved only unlucky to his opponents, and now the number is retired, and along with it, Dave Tortzik. It's an honor for me to be here and have my number retired, to join Lloyd, Larry, and Jeff. The number 15 is now retired. The guy who took it with him is Larry Steele. But I would like to thank the organization for giving me the opportunity to play many, many years here in Portland. I would like to thank the fans for making it very enjoyable and worthwhile. the finest pure shooters in the history of professional basketball. No one will ever wear number 45 again. It belongs to Jeff Petrie. I too would like to thank the Portland Trailblazers for what I consider to be a great honor. Uh, even though I, I didn't finish my career in Portland, I've always considered myself a trailblazer and always will.